Let's see if we can just chuck this thing in. We'll left hook to have a break. Drop it down on this part. Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. As you can see, we do have some new sim hardware, if you haven't guessed by the title of the video. I decided to go ahead and get myself a whole new ecosystem. So everything I'm going to tell you guys about everything that I have and just recently got um, is going to be 100% real because I did get this myself. This wasn't sent to me by anybody or anything like that. So these opinions are actually my own opinions. There's no influence from anything um, or anything like that. So obviously we went with some Sim Magic equipment. We're not going to get too in detailed on the base because these uh, alpha bases have been out for uh, some good time, but we are going to just take a look at it and see, you know, what we are looking at when it comes to this and what it all comes with because, well, I have not had a chance to have something like this recently. So we're going to try and get this out without too much trouble. That actually was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Of course, inside the box, we do have, oh, geez, I'm dropping stuff. We do have, you know, our really nice big formula drift stickers and, of course, some other stickers from Sim Magic, which it's always cool to get stickers. I did get this all this from Sim Motion. They sent a sticker too, so shout out to Sim Motion for that. So, obviously, we have hardware packs with mounting screws and everything like that. Pretty standard. We have our cable. It's also, you know, pretty standard with all wheelbases. Our power brick which has a nice switch which we can put on the side of the rig since i don't have an e-stop button so that'll be quite nice and then of course our brick which is pretty slim line compared to some of the other bricks i have for like my r21 and stuff like that and then of course we got all oh, the good goodness itself wow this thing is a lot heavier than i thought it was going to be Ugh. <laughs> the sim magic alpha base but it's a really small small package for what it is so we got the sim magic alpha base and the cool thing i do like you know with all the formula drift and everything on it and the quick release system and the carbon fiber in the front like i said we're not gonna spend too much time on the actual base because the base is pretty much uh what you expect is the uh you know sim magic alpha base 15 newton meters so that is that so we're gonna put this aside And we're going to pull out some other sim hardware that we got. So some more sim hardware that we did get. Um, we did get a, a standard quick release from Sim Magic so that we can actually hook up our energy innovation drift wheel. Um, our nice suede Alcantara suede wheel. With, you know, of course, we did put Sim Magic logo on there. So we did get a quick release so we can run that on our alpha base. Now, this is one of the things I'm super excited about because shifters um, are very interesting. Sometimes they feel really good. Sometimes they feel really bad. Uh, and compared to some of the other shifters, such like this Fanatec one, which has a similar feature, it, it was it's really nice. And, you know, with the sequential switch, it was nice. But over time, I started uh, missing gears, losing shifts, and stuff like that. So Symmetric has their new, you know, DS8X which we're going to open up here. And of course, more uh, Formula Drift Sim, Sim Magic stickers, even more sticker sheets. Yeah, I'm going to have plenty of sticker sheets. So this is one thing I'm super excited about because from what I heard, everybody is saying it's probably one of the best shifter feels that you can get on the market. We do have our cables and everything like that. And this is actually a small package compared to what i thought it was going to be so all this stuff is a lot smaller than i thought it was actually going to be so the one cool thing i like about the sim magic shifter is you know you go sequential and just flip the switch now you're in h pattern now it is nice that they have the lift up for that but this feels really 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 solid and just a quick flick and yep okay so that's super nice, and of course, really nice build of hardware. Really nice feeling. Can't wait to get on the rig where we can actually feel what it actually feels like. But just a 
quick glance at it. So we're going to get this set aside. Just going through all this, of course, we're going to get more in depth with all of this. Now, here are a few other things I did get for racing purposes. We did get this really beautiful um, SimMagic FX Pro wheel uh, for racing. Comparatively to, say, like my the Moza FRS wheel, it's a little bit larger, got a lot of the same features. There's a lot more going on on the back of this with all the extra paddles and everything. So I'm super excited to uh, get this on the rig and see the difference between these two. Just I needed something for racing, so I decided to get one of these because, well, I'm going to be running the drift wheel otherwise, so I don't have paddles. So this is something I was super excited to look into. And that is their new hydraulic handbrake. So a lot of handbrakes have just, you know, spring feel, textile feels and stuff like that. And, you know, you can get them to feel pretty good. But this actually has brake fluid in it because it's actually got a cylinder. So we're going to take a look at this. Of course, we got guides, more stickers. We have a plethora of stickers. So I'm going to have to try to find a place to literally put all of these stickers. So inside here, we do have obviously mounting hardware. We have cables and we have more cables and stuff like that. And then we have in here, we have, that looks like the top, like maybe a uh, top button part that we can put in there on top, maybe of the handbrake. We're gonna find out soon once I figure out what's down here. We got a symmetric spacer ring. And then we have a whole bunch of like different uh, spring sets and stuff like that. So looking at the actual handbrake itself. So that's way taller. So you can see, obviously, there's the little reservoir right there that has all the fluid in there. Oh, man. Yep, that's got a lot of like. Ooh, tactile feel, all the plugins and everything like that. I believe inside here is where we can, yep, change our spring sets or bushing sets and stuff like that for different types of feel. So that's going to be have to be something once we get it on the rig. We're going to need to uh, see how it feels once it's bolted down onto our next level chassis. But everything's encased in some really nice billet. But this is what I'm really excited for the feeling of because you have that actual hydraulic feel oh, that feels really solid sturdy so that's something i'm super excited about and i think i was right it does go up there little double-sided tape guy up there so we're probably gonna throw that on there as well so this is one thing that i'm super excited to feel on because i've had spring ones different types of handbrakes from the fanatex to the moza but this itself seems like it's going to be so much different so with that Aside, we're going to pull out something else, which is probably going to have even more stickers in it because everything has stickers. The other part that I'm super excited about and will probably take some time getting used to, and that is their P2000 hydraulic pedals. So this, like the handbrake, has a hydraulic system on it. And of course we got more stickers, plethora of stickers. Information of looks like when it was manufactured. It looks like this one was uh December December 30th of 23. So it's fairly new production. And of course, you know, we're gonna stick this in our giant pile of stickers over here. Oh, this one came in a little bag with the stickers. So we have this really, really nice solid base plate, which will get really nicely bolted onto our next level chassis. So hopefully some of these screw holes and everything fit in there. But I thought that was a box cover. So we get into our pedals. So we do have our nice brick pedals, just standard brick pedals. May have to change up to another style pedal possibly. Um, for the throttle so we got our three bricks our cables and this is what i'm talking about so we down here we have a plethora of stuff on the bottom so we have all of our 
brackets, shims, hardware, all stuff like that. Control box, and we have our throttle, which also has dampening control, which that's going to be super, super nice. And we have a pin to adjust our throw travel on all the sides. Really nice quality build. So that's going to be nice when we get that bolted in. And then the clutch pedal itself is also um, adjustable springs and stuff if you want to change them out. I believe they're down here. Yep. Then we got a plethora of springs for the pedals as well as the um, clutch pedal and everything like that. But it has a nice almost drop-in engagement which right there, which I've heard a lot of people tend to like a lot because of that engagement point. Um, nice way. And, of course, we do have throw um, points up here. So we once we get that on a rig, we can finally figure out how we're going to do the pedal uh, like the spring tensions, but this right here is the the nitty gritty of why I'm excited for this pedal set. This brake pedal right here. So we have a hydraulic system on this as well, with a 200 kilogram load cell on top. We have all these adjustment points on the spring, so I am not going to be able to push that at all. I'm going to have to uh, get that on there. So you can easily just take this off, change your spring sets, preload your uh, load cell and everything like that to get an actual, like, you know, hydraulic feel and tension and stuff like that. So we got to get all of this stuff on the rig, but kind of just wanted to bring it all out, give you my first glance at it and why I'm excited to it. So we're going to get this stuff all on the rig and uh, see how easy this stuff is to get it all mounted up. So we do have the Symmetric Alpha Base with our Energy Innovations. I need a horn delete button cover so you know you don't see this. Uh, we do have their new hydraulic handbrake with you know the hydraulic cylinder and everything, as well as the H pattern shifter, which also goes in the sequential, which is nice. And then down there we have the P2000 pedals with the uh, hydraulic cylinder over there that you can see compressing on the other side of my foot with the uh, you know dampen control throttle and clutch and we're gonna go full send today and what better way to do that i feel than to go sideways with it and see how this thing feels so we are in the new bc denofa testing grounds in a uh, very loud and proud turbo car so we're gonna go full send in it and uh see how this Symmetric works in the base settings, first impressions on it, and everything like that. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. Let's get to it. All right. So we're going to go full send. And I have not been on this track. I've seen videos of it. So we're just going to go full send and see what happens. Let's kick out. Oh, overall, not too shabby yet. Oh, I forgot that. There was a drum drift down. Oh, we need more. We need to carry more speed. So I am noticing initially that the brakes are really different because having the hydraulic in it and having to push uh, a lot of tension. I do have the softest springs in there. I may need to adjust the springs. So it's going to... For, oh yeah, for left foot braking, it's gonna take me a minute to get used to because of being on a non-load cell pedal. I do have a 2,000 or 200 kilogram load cell on there, which definitely don't need. I'm not gonna lie, the handbrake feels super good though, and this shifter is solid. Oh, a little. Let's see, if we can run this out. Oh, we got it. Oh, we didn't even need a handbrake there. If I can need here. Oh, car bogged down a little bit. It's been a minute since I've had an H pattern that I've actually liked because I was running the Moses sequential for a while because the other H pattern was kind of losing its configuration all the time and I kept having to calibrate it. But the smoothness of this alpha base is incredible right now. This is on Symmetric's basic, I believe it's a set of course of Drift A. 
in their settings. And this BC, uh, BDG car is killing it right now. Oh, yeah. Ooh, clutch kick it out. I didn't know if there was more ground. I thought we were going to go off track. Oh, I can enter that thing way harder. Getting that corner the best. Ooh. So it is definitely uh, a big change going from this base from my Moza base and everything. And also, using the 350 wheel, I was using the standard Moza uh, RSV2 wheel. So this is much larger. I need to start wearing gloves again because of the Alcantara. But overall, first impressions of this, I'm super excited. Getting used to the uh, brake is going to be the biggest thing for me, especially with racing too. Like I said, I was on a non-load cell for a very long time. Alright, let's see if we can just chuck this thing in. We'll left hook dab a brake. Drop it down in this part. Oh yeah. I think we got it. Dab a handbrake there. It's a little dab. That was a really long grab. But overall, not too bad. We're kind of uh, not doing too, too bad right now. We're going to have to take a look at the replay angle and see how we fared on this last lap. I feel like this is probably one of the best laps I've done. A little tire drop there. Oh, <laughs> so I think that's going to be the uh, Q2. Take a look at that replay of that last lap, at least. Yeah, here we go. We're going to take a look at the last lap replay. And we just chuck this thing. Kind of dove down in there a little bit, but we're good. So... A lot of uh, things are changing when it comes to how I'm doing my content and stuff. Um, a lot of people give me so much hate for drifting in third person. So you won't see a lot of third person drifting anymore. You'll see a lot of in car with a lot of like replay angles stacked up top or like reviewing or replays like this. Uh, if that's something you guys want to keep seeing, let me know down below. If you guys do like third person style, which I'm going to do again before uh, we end this episode off just, you know, to irk, irk the... Uh, sim drifters who are like oh full setup no uh not drifting in first person well sometimes it's fun to do all views this car rips though yep this car definitely rips so we're gonna go back we're gonna resume and we're going to go in the infamous uh Infamous view that everybody seems to hate. All our sim drifting purists. Ooh. Let's get that out. Hello, cell phone. Drifting right now. No drifting and texting. Texting and drifting. So overall, impressions of this alpha base on the base settings are quite nice. I may go through and maybe fine tweak some things or take a look at some of the other drift settings. If you guys are on any alpha base, let me know. This is the alpha, uh, not the alpha mini or the alpha U. Let me know down in the comments maybe what settings you guys are running. Too wide. Donk. Oh, dirt drop. We held it though. Oh, we're gonna we're get, we're gonna kill this right now. Oh, too much lock. <laughs> I 
So overall, definitely having a lot of fun with this new wheel, getting it up, getting it all set up. Uh, one thing I can say is it's definitely in reverse we go. It's definitely a big change from my R12 and all that. So if you guys enjoyed this, if you guys want to keep seeing more about it, or like you have suggestions of cars, let me know down in the comment section down below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching the new Endeavor on the new uh, sim setup with all of this new sim magic equipment. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all that's from the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back. I'm Evil Rabbit. Ooh, I'll see you guys. Ooh, on the track. I'm gonna try and track this hard. I'm gonna do this way. Nope, too much. <laughs>